as human beings, we are actually designed to be sleeping outside with the natural circadian rhythms, being woken up by daylight, moving through to midday, moving through to sunset, going through this process, being more controlled by the brain and that circadian rhythm. You know, whether you like camping or going out into the mountains, I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it. you'll certainly be aware that if you take your tent and a bit of foam and a sleeping bag and no security, it's just polythene and a zip, <laughs> and you wander out into the mountains, yeah? Wander out into the mountains. You've got no fancy bedrooms. You've got no blue blockers. You've got no screens <laughs> with red on it. You've got nothing cooling. Th Basically, what happens very quickly is you rise with the temperature shift and the light coming into your tent. You'll have some breakfast and fuel up and hydrate a little bit. You'll certainly make the most of the first part of your day into midday and you'll fuel up again and have a little bit of a recovery. You know, just have a little chill for a bit before we set off again, trying to make most of the light until it sets. And then we'll be round the fire in melatonin land, having a bite to eat, the melatonin will take over and then we'll curl up on the floor in the tent, get some sleep and off we go again. And life is not that bad, is it? You know, that whole sort of mental concept of it is what it is. I can either make it worse or try and make it better. Which one do you want to go down? And I think that lovely thing of understanding that's what starts to happen so all i would look for in your world is trying to put some of those little things back into your everyday approach okay 